secular organization. It is a demand of the people. It is a demand of the state government. Manipur Prajana Talaga Lapa Dimani, State Government of Suhana Loyla Talaga Lapa Diman Natani. But uh, it cannot be done at one time. Partly part, part by part. But two, three issues has been uh, coming up positively, and that is a good sign. This positive step in the Manipur Lapa Sir, about biometric uh, exercise. So biometric, we have already started uh, since 23 January. Uh, after forming a cabinet subcommittee led by the Honorable uh, Minister Letpao Haukif. He was the chairman and uh, Mr. Awang Mo Niumai, the Honorable Minister uh, Water Resource and uh, Honorable Minister Education, yes, Basinta Singh is a member. We have started collection of biometric and, and uh, not only the biometric and also the eye scanning and the formalities has almost started in many villages. And uh, till now also just it is going on in some of the area in uh, Kamzong area. But now we have to proceed it. The India government has also extended the time period for uh, taking the biometric of the illegal migrants up to the uh, yeah. March 24. Sir, uh, you have met uh, Home Minister, sir, and uh, Mizoram has taken a stand. Was there any discussion? Because it not only affects Manipur, it also affects Assam, Baragvili, and other places. So this is a concern. What do you think Government of India is thinking? You see, uh, uh, Government of India has categorically mentioned that 1,400, uh, you know, some uh, that whole stress from Arunachal to Mizoram is going to be fence. But I think, but from time to time, area to area adjustment may come after the thorough discussion uh, with the uh, people who are residing at the borders. But sir, the messages which are coming from state like Mizoram, uh, how do you propose so you to... You see, I am talking about my state. I can say anything about the Nagaland or I cannot say anything about the Mizoram because I'm trying and I'm doing for my state only. I can talk about the boundaries, about 398 kilometers uh, in the uh, indo Myanmar border with, uh, in Manipur. I cannot talk about the Mizoram area. I cannot talk about the Nagaland area because they are having their own government, their own people, their perception might be different. But uh, whatever I'm talking is for my state. Thank you. Sir, people are giving very much hope to you. Uh, apart from FMR and uh, border fencing, what are the points that you have discussed with the uh, Union Home Minister? I cannot reveal now. Sir? You can see, you can see uh, one by one. Sir, my you last question. Sir, Re about resettlement of the people, is there any uh, additional package you have demanded for the finance minister? Ah, 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 why not? People are suffering. Resettlement is our priority. Our priority. And uh, now the, the, those who, those farmers who are not having the advantage of plugging and uh, harvesting, do, who, those who live out, we are going to compensate. Now almost 36 crore has already arrived, uh, already sanctioned. And the money, around 3,300 uh, farmers, uh, subject to correction, their amount has been released, I think, to the DC concern. They can uh, enjoy it now. So, any update on Mori right now, sir? No, nothing like the normal assembly is coming here. Sir, about the situation in Mori, uh, there are conflicting reports about supply line being cut off and all those stuff. Uh, any update on that, sir? No, nothing is like that. But everything is okay. Just uh, there are some shortages of water carrier tankers. Also, uh, for uh, 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 security personnel, we have sent it. Uh, of operation with the Uki and militants have been uh, getting over in this month. Is there any plan for the government regarding extension or? No, state government for the state government is very clear. We have already uh, recommended to abrogate those who violate the ground rules. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.